What's up, mga tuliluts? Welcome back again to my channel. If you're still new to this channel, just please click the subscribe button there and that bell so you can be updated for the future videos I'm going to upload. Now, today I'm going to show you how to dismantle a fuel injection valve or fuel injector of Yanmar brand. Now, without further ado, let's go to the workshop and start dismantling that fuel injector. Come on! So here we go. Using number 19 box wrench, I'm removing the cup nut of the fuel of the pressure regulating bulb injection valve and again using number 19 I will loosen up the lock nut of the pressure regulating bolt we have to loosen the pressure regulating bolt for us to easily disassemble the fuel injection bolt Thing now, zero the nozzle nut using number 46 impact wrench. We will remove the nozzle nut. That's the nozzle nut. Now, chronologically, first to remove is the nozzle assembly. Normally, that's the thing that we're going to replace. The next one is the spacer. Next is the seat nozzle spring. And this nozzle spring. Next one are the parallel pins. have to turn it upside down so we can totally remove the pressure relegated valve. We have to remove this too because there's a small part inside the fuel injection valve that can only be removed by pushing some rod inside the hole where the pressure regulating valve is. That's and that is the spring retainer. Now this is the piece where we have to clean all the parts of the fuel injection valve. The, the thing you see in this part is I am Bluffing the spacer and the seat by using the grinding compound. Do that. The way how I do it is I use that number 8 motion. Because using the 8 motion can grind equally all the parts of the seat in the spacer. After that, we have to clean it with a cleansing oil and then blow some air to it. In this part, we are now assembling the fuel injection bulb. First is to put the pressure regulating, regulating bulb. The next one, spring retainer, the spring nozzle, the nozzle set, the parallel pins, the, sp 
spacer. And now, the nozzle. After that, the nozzle is not. Now, we are going to type the nozzle nut. Normally, the torque that needs in this part is about 30 to 14 newton meter. But unfortunately, doing this just to show off and walk out. Aww. Poor twins. Now, this part we're going to test the pressure of the fuel injection valve. So, using our 24 wrench, let's attach the tester to the fuel injection valve. And using this lever, can operate the tester so as you can see the pressure is not enough to adjust the pressure of the fuel injector we have to increase it by turning the pressure regulating bolt clockwise there it increases but it's too much the manual says that operating the tester slowly will suit a leakage of the nozzle. Yes, it is true. But in, in this case, I'm, turn, I'm operating the tester slowly so I can determine the peak pressure of the fuel injection valve. So that, I, I reach its pressure now. It's 3. 34 megapascal or 34 megapascal If we already reached the pressure of the fuel injector have to secure that by using the lock nut of the pressure regulating ball. Now, correct, the correct operation of the tester results in the atomization of the fuel injector. So the difference of operating slowly and faster is the oil drops from the nozzles. Okay. Yes, Siri. Look at this. Now, yeah, there. Great optimization, right? So that's it. something in that video and I'm looking forward for the next videos I'm going to make and I hope you will be there because you hit that subscribe button again and that bell button thank you